The result of research by Victoria University into the use of pheromone-based lures is being used in a revolutionary Kiwi design range of self-resetting rat and possum traps. Senior lecturer at the School of Biological Sciences at Victoria University, Dr Stephen Hartley explains. This is a partnership between the university and industry and we're particularly interested in developing a lure that's not based on food because there's a number of circumstances where that could be much more beneficial or advantageous than a food-based lure. Particularly, or two areas in the food industry, uh, food storage and food processing plants. They have can have problems with rodents and might not always want to use toxins. And we're trying to develop a pheromone-based lure, so something that uses sexual attractants to bring rats uh, into traps, and that will work even when there's a superabundance of food around. We hope to apply the same sort of technologies or same approach to possums. There's a certain number of challenges that possum uh, proteins and that possum DNA sequence is less well known than it is for rats. So but we're attacking this angle. We see applications uh, basically for any pest mammal that uses smell to communicate. We've got geneticists, biochemists, ecologists, animal behaviorists working together. We're hoping to develop uh, something that could be put into a lure of the type that Good Nature developed and that could then be attractive for possibly up to 12 months. We're making resetting traps, so we've got a gas-powered trap for possums, we've got a gas-powered trap for rats and stoats. It's pretty core technology that we've created over the last eight years, and now we're dev using that technology to target a whole bunch of different species. It's a CO2-powered trap. It sits on a tree. It can kill 12 possums or 24 rats without you doing anything. But if you don't have a lure that can actually get them to go and activate the trap, then the trap's redundant anyway. It's the same with any trap or bait or toxin, whatever. It's got to be attractive to get the animal to do what you want it to do. We are experts in developing trap technology, making things, manufacturing things. We've now got a dispensing system which can deliver a liquid lure over a really long period. The scientists are the ones that can really tap into the chemical elements that are going to make the animals do exactly what we want them to do. They have the expertise in analysing the chemicals that exist, replicating them, um, not only replicating them directly but also cost effectively. Um, they can go out and research a bunch, a wide range of things that we can't actually research with the skill set and the technology that we have, but we can immediately apply it into the technology we've created. We've got two traps. We've got a possum trap, A12, which does 12 kills per gas canister for possums. And we've got the A24 rat and stoat trap, does 24 kills per gas canister. The main difference is the possum trap works with a bite trigger. So up underneath this cap, we have a, a bite block, which has actually got a, a smelly and palatable lure in there. The possum puts its head up into the trap. So this is mounted at about table height off the ground. The possum puts its head up into the trap bites and pulls, that triggers the system. This piston fires out into the skull of the possum, retracts on the spring, pulls it out of its head and the possum just drops to the ground. And the whole thing's ready to go again in about 15 seconds. So this is the rat trap, it's mounted about 12 centimetres off the ground. The animal comes up into the trap to investigate a lure, so up underneath this cap is a bottle of lure, whether it's a food lure or a synthetic lure like we're developing at the moment. They come up to investigate that and they brush this trigger. This trigger can move in any direction, gets set off with 20 grams of force. As soon as they do that, fires this piston out, crushes the animal's head, retracts on this light spring, and the whole thing's ready to go again in about 15 seconds. For the targeting, we've got a small animal on here. We can just give it a blow to the head. We know they kill them instantly every time for that humaneness. For the possums, they're a big animal, so we use that bite trigger. The bite trigger is what gets the targeting right. Basically, if we know where their teeth are, we know where their brain is, and we can hit them in that cavity every time. But we also started sending them to Hawaii. Hawaii is using a lot of rat traps. They've got the same ecosystem as we have, very few native mammals. Uh, we're sending them throughout Australia. We've got, we're working with the Swedish government and the European Union on trap for American mink, which introduced like our ferrets. Uh, we're working with the British government on grey squirrels, which are introduced. And just actually sending a couple of traps to the Galapagos at the moment for a trial on rats over there. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.